MATLAB is quite powerful in terms of fitting curves to uh, sets of data. And again, there is an interactive uh, graphical user interface um, by, um, by selecting the fitting uh, um, button in the apps menu at the top. So if you click on curve fitting, that will take you to the, the GUI. Um, but we're going to be um, uh, just using the command line version in a sense, um, uh, and in particular the uh, function called polyfit. Okay. Now polyfit is a is a way of fitting a polynomial to a set of data, and so the the basic uh, command is coefficients, which um, and then equals polyfit, and then you apply the x data, the y data, and the, the order of the polynomial. Now if you want a straight line fit, then obviously n will be one. If you want a quadratic, n will be two, and the coefficients will be the coefficients of the of the of the line. So, for example, for a straight line fit, it'll like give you a slope and a y-intercept. Um, and for a polynomial, it'll give you the three coefficients in front of x squared, x, and uh, x to the power of zero or one. Now, obviously, this uh, this will only work if I've got data for x data and y data, which I haven't at this point in time. But I have got a file with some data in. So. Let's load up this uh, thing called linear fit. Okay, so that's I loaded up a, a bunch of data. I've got x and y up there. Okay, and if I wanted to plot x and y just to see what the data look like, I could obviously apply the plot command and just load up the data, and it will give me some uh, data. There we are. So there's my data. Okay, so that's the sort of randomized data in a sense that I've got to try and fit a curve to. So. What we're going to do is we're going to um, apply our straight line um, coefficient. So let's, let's go for coefficients equals polyfit. Okay, x data, y data, and I'm going to go for a straight line uh, fit. Okay, so that's going to um, show me the vector of coefficients. Okay, so there's my slope 5.0316, and there's my y-intercept 195.4123. So I could actually say y fit, which is my going to be my fitted line equals x times coefficients 1, because we're going to choose the first thing, plus coefficients 2. So there's my y fit, which is going to be my new fitted data. It's going to be my slope of coefficients 1, because that's the first element of this coefficients vector, times by x, plus my uh, y intercept, which is coefficients 2. Okay, And if I click now, to plot x, y, and I'm going to go for uh, red circles. Okay. And I'm going to hold on. Okay. And I'm going to plot the same here, x, and then I'm going to go for y underscore fit. Okay. And that's going to plot the data over the top of that. Okay. I'll give it an x label x. I'll give it a Y label, Y. I'm going to turn the grid on. I'm going to give it the title of, um, let's call it curve fitting. And then I'm going to give it a legend as well. And I'm going to say, okay, well, the first bit of data is, the first line is raw data. And the second line is going to be linear trend line, okay? Because the first bit of data, the raw data, refers to the first plot, which is this plot here, okay? And the second uh, bit in the legend refers to the second plot, which is the fitted data. So if I press return now, I go back to the image, there, we, there we've got, okay? So we've got the circles are the raw data, okay? And you can see that the, the straight line there is our linear trend line. Let's have a look at this code like line by line. Okay, so we've got the first line, okay, defines this line up here, okay, defines the coefficients um, that uh, relate to the linear line that fits that's fitted to that data. Okay, we've gone for a, a first order polynomial, which is mx plus c, and then here we've got the value for m, and here we've got the value for c. So then I create a new line based upon those data, so I've got m 
which is coefficients 1 times by x plus c. Okay. I then plot the original data. I turn on hold to retain that graph. I then plot the fitted data over the top of that. Okay. Um, and then I label the x and y axes. I turn the grid on. I give it a title. I then write a legend showing the raw data, which relates to this original data, x and y, and then the linear trend line, which relates to x and y fit. And then I end up with that, with that graph. Okay. Now, for saving pictures like this one here, for example, um, you can obviously do a simple file, save as. <clears throat> and under here, you get a bunch of different types of uh, options in terms of what to save it as. So you can save it as a MATLAB figure, so which is a .fig file, and that will open up the figure in MATLAB. Um, or you can obviously save, export it as a bitmap, an EPS, a, a JPEG, or even, a, a, like I said, a PDF document is often a use, useful, or TIFF and so on and so forth. So if I wanted to save it as a JPEG image, I'll just put, um, save it here. So I'm going to call it linear. Uh, fit.jpg. I press save, and obviously that's now saved as a as a JPEG document in my uh, in my computer. <clears throat>